Over the past few years of being a web designer, I have had experience with a ton of different platforms, and I have really been a huge advocate for the platform Webflow, although over the course of the past six months, I've really became frustrated with the platform, and in this video, I'm going to be covering my three main frustrations with Webflow, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about my game plan going forward. Before I start explaining why I'm frustrated with Webflow, I'm going to talk about why I chose it in the first place. Reason number one, the platform has amazing design and development capabilities. You can create nearly anything that you want to and publish it with the click of a few buttons. Reason number two, I saw a huge community building around the platform, a lot of YouTubers creating content about it, and really just a lot of forums talking about how great the platform was, and I felt like I wanted to be a part of it. And reason number three, some aspects of the platform are super intuitive and user friendly. I love how you can manage all of your clients' websites in one place, and you can easily manage the site settings with the click of a few buttons. Alright, so now that I've talked about the reasons that I chose Webflow in the first place, let's get back to the main point of the video and talk about my three main frustrations with the platform Webflow. Alright, before I get started, my name is Dylan Davino. I'm the founder of Davino Digital. We're a company that builds, manages, and optimizes websites for businesses in various industries. Over the past two years, I've been able to take my agency from $0 a month all the way up to about $10,000 this past month, and I'm super excited to see where we can grow. Alright, without further ado, reason number one that I'm frustrated with Webflow is the website editor. So the editor has very limited functionality. It has the ability to change photos and text and you can add CMS items like blogs or new listings. And that's about the full extent of what the website editor can really do. Um, not to mention it has a lot of glitches so when they're trying to do these few things uh, a lot of the time it bugs out on them or just stops working. Now you're probably asking yourself why does the client need to use the editor why can't they just use the designer instead. So if you have the Webflow website in your account they actually do not have access to the designer and even if you transfer them the entire website in their own Webflow account and set up hosting for them you would have to expect them to be able to use the designer. And expecting somebody to be able to use the designer is absurd. First of all, it takes web designers a month or two to even fully learn the platform. And you're asking people that are not as tech savvy and you know, they aren't web designers, frankly, you're asking them to be able to go in the designer and make changes, understanding the class system, understanding all of the buttons and functionalities of Webflow, chances are they're not going to be able to make those changes, or if they do, they're going to mess something up. I've had multiple clients complain about the website editor, and they were really happy with the Webflow website that we built them in terms of the design and functionality, but when it comes to them trying to edit the website and manage it over the long term, I think that's where Webflow really falls apart. Alright, so that sums up why I'm frustrated with the website editor, and now I'm going to get into reason number two. Alright, now before I move into reason number two, just remember to leave me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. I just hit a thousand subscribers, and now I'm looking for 5,000 subscribers, so if you could leave me a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Frustration number two is the learning curve. So Webflow can actually take a couple months to really fully learn and perfect. And even now I'm learning more things about the platform every day I use it. Um, but this is kind of a problem for both your team and your clients. So when it comes to your team, do you really want to pay somebody for two or three months to master the platform Webflow um, when there are other platforms out there that are much easier and more intuitive to learn? That's one thing. And then the other thing is, when it comes to your clients, obviously they're not going to be able to edit it either. I mean, most of my clients, you know, they, they don't do web design as their career and they might not even go on their computers very much. How could you expect them to learn the platform Webflow? It's completely ridiculous. Um, you can't expect them to learn it. You have to expect them to use the website editor, which kind of sucks. All right, and frustration number three is it's a small platform. Now, there's a few problems associated with a small platform. The most obvious one is that it's not the industry standard, and so most business owners have not heard of Webflow. 
they have heard of WordPress or Shopify because these are the industry standard tools that people have been using for a long time now. And so you have to sell them on using the platform Webflow as well as teach them how the platform actually works. Another problem with the small platform is that hosting prices have and will continue to increase over time. So you just saw um, a hosting rate increase and you're also probably going to see more coming very soon because it's a small company trying to increase their revenues and profit. And lastly, probably one of the biggest problems with being on a small platform is the fact that you don't have as many plugins or apps available to increase the functionality of your website. So if you were on WordPress or Shopify, you would have thousands on thousands of apps available to you that you could just easily add to have more functionality. Um, but when you're on Webflow, you know, these apps are not available to you. Only a select few apps out there are actually built for Webflow. And, you know, that's just one of my major complaints with it as well. All right, well, that's three reasons that I am frustrated with the platform Webflow. And if you are feeling the same way or if you have a different opinion, definitely let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts about it and bounce some ideas. All right, and now I'm going to get into my agency's game plan going forward. Um, for how we're going to build websites. So we plan on using WordPress and Shopify to build almost all of our new websites going forward. And we want to be on the industry standard, which are these platforms, um, because, you know, clients will know how to use them and you have all of the plugins and apps available to you, things that I've already covered in this video. Um, but when it comes to e-commerce, we definitely want to use Shopify because WordPress, um, in my opinion, does not have the greatest e-commerce dashboard out there. Now, I'm going to make a whole dedicated video about the platforms we plan to use going forward, and you'll probably see that coming throughout the next couple weeks. Well, that wraps up the video. If you did enjoy it, again, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content about web design and freelancing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.